Well, good afternoon, Facebook group. Hope you're doing well for Tuesday. Do you know that feeling? I know everyone has gone through that feeling. What is the feeling that I'm talking about? That feeling when you first start working out and you're past your first week, you're consistent, you're on to your second week, you're on to your third week, and you're starting to feel really, really good about how you look. You're in the rhythm. You know, you're feeling pumped. Who doesn't have that feeling, okay? Then after three, four weeks, you walk in front of the mirror and bam, you're still not where you want to be. Perhaps you're still overweight in your mind. The results aren't there yet. But in your head, you're feeling fit in those genes from 2010. It can be really disheartening, can it? You've worked hard, you're moving along, not just one day, but a few weeks. And it can be disheartening when you walk in front of that mirror and you look at yourself. So basically there are two truths in this scenario. Truth number one is this. You've been working hard from day one, leading up to those two, three, four, five weeks. You've been eating much cleaner, okay? You've been getting up earlier to make it to the gym, to go for those daily walks, to go and do the stairs, beating those sugar cravings, etc. Yet, you don't see any results. That's the first truth. The second truth is you're only a few weeks away from the first signs of toning, shaping, waistline shrinking, and your clothes starting to fit differently on you. So those are the two truths. So here's the thing. Both of these statements are absolutely true. The question is, what reality are you going to accept? The first one, which may cause you to literally give up after all those weeks, give in and say something like, what's the use anyways? I might as well head down to Burger King or McDonald's and have myself a Big Mac fry shake, uh, apple pie, um, because it just doesn't matter. The weight is never going to come off. Why am I killing myself in doing what I'm doing to try to lose the weight? Okay, the second reality, though, is predicated on faith. Without faith, no other gifts can be given, they say. You don't see the results yet. And this is the key. Remember the word yet. Those who have gone before you and I have proven if you keep on going, you're going to get the results. You're going to look more toned. You're going to literally strip the fat off your body. You're going to feel better getting to the gym every day. That's the test, which is the second piece of it, because anything worth having in life will require you to keep going longer past that point of pain, disappointment, and frustration. So why did I share that story about working out? Because A, everyone can relate to it, and B, building your network marketing business is a lot like that first month when you decide to get back into the gym and bring some consistency to your workouts. I can even remember even weeks and even months when I first started network marketing, I said to myself, I could be making more money flipping burgers than what I'm earning in my commissions at that point. And this was probably a month or two or three or four into my new skin journey. But that was my test. Okay. I could have quit back then. Okay. I could have chosen it as my reality, but that wasn't my destiny. I kept at it. I kept at it. I kept at it. And I had faith. So why I'm sharing this with all of you. So for those of you, I guess, that are at that point that your business ain't growing fast enough, it may not be growing fast enough for me, for some of our leaders, some of the people you see. For everyone, this is a journey. It never moves fast enough. I ask you to consider this and consider your truth and decide which one will ultimately define you. Okay, so I hope you got some value from this. Those two truths are both correct, but which one are you uh, moving forward with? Hope you got value out of this. Remember that feeling. And remember that second truth that you're only a few weeks away from that first signs of toning your body, waistline sh shrinking, clothes starting to fit better, and in your network marketing business, the same. Just keep at it. Keep making the calls. Keep making a difference in people's lives. People are hungry. People are waiting uh, to wake up today to have someone reach out to them with something that can change their lives, the way they look, the way they feel, the way they can perhaps create another income stream in their lives. 
You are that person. So keep her going. Okay, guys, have yourselves an amazing um, week ahead and we'll chat with you soon. Bye-bye.